but everyone knows that you're obedient to the Lord. This makes me very happy. I want you to be wise in doing right and stay innocent of any wrong. (laughs) The God of peace will soon crush Satan. Where? Whose feet? Who's crushing Satan? God. Where? Under my feet. Just let that roll around in your head for a while. God will crush Satan. And he'll use my feet to do it. He'll use your feet to do it. Just imagine how much fun that's going to be. All of a sudden, it's going to be like river dance all over the place. (laughs) And we're going to hear... But we've got to be careful who we pay attention to. Otherwise, we'll think, oh my gosh, weather's getting worse. There are more hurricanes and tornadoes now than there have ever been. No, there's not. But who are you listening to? Oh my gosh, it's a drought. We've never had a drought in California before. (laughs) Yes, we have. Ron and I watch way too much Huell Hauser on TV. And I was watching one of his shows. He's passed on many years ago now, but I still enjoy his shows. And he was visiting the dry lakes out in the high desert. And as he was walking around with the park ranger, the park ranger was explaining, he said, 3,500 years ago, where we're standing right now, was 600 feet underwater. And because I'm annoying this way, I thought 3,500 years ago, there was 600 feet of water sitting there. What did those Native Americans do to cause climate change? (laughs) Wasn't that what we're told? Climate is changing. You know why? Because Pastor Ron runs his air conditioning all the time. It's probably on right now. (laughs) How stupid do these people think we are? Have you noticed that of the 44 major climate change predictions they've made in the last 25 years, none have come true. They're 0 for 44. So dear Lord, we better listen to them. The odds are they're going to be right sometime. You see, this is the way the devil plays this game. He says things and gets us to try and not trust God. But it's our choice. But God will soon crush him under our feet as the grace of Jesus is with us. That is living in God's power. Oh, wait a minute. The kingdom of God is not just fancy talk. It's living by God's power. See how we got all the way back to where we started? See how clever that was? (laughs) That's why the kingdom of God is so important. It's how we live, and it's what we allow God to do through us. It's what we pay attention to and what we focus on. And it's what allows us to live by God's power. 